Yeah, yeah, I'm just about to go off to my second sleep, but I wanted to get this over or this uh, chunk out of my system and and um, document some of the bits because I should be writing this down. But like I said, I want to uh, get some sleep and articulating it this way is a lot quicker. Um, so I popped this plane. This plane is just from the Axis and Allies. Thank gosh, I got to start 3D printing some things up because uh, I want to start using more of these things. This is just kind of like yet again a concept thing. I don't know if any of this is going to end up happening, but what it certainly is going to be doing is getting me to read up on a lot of stuff and hopefully discuss these things with you guys about um, um, feasibility and gaming and, and that type of stuff, like how realistic this could be. I've been trying to figure out a way of getting around this desert problem so much. It's not flipping funny for both sides, but I don't know why I keep... Oh, it just seems like I've just been strategizing so flipping much with the central powers. They're just interesting, I find, um, at least right now. But, you know, yet again, uh, Russia has always been my little whatever. And that's, you know, knee deep in it in the eastern front here. But um, this is the other, you know. Anyways, I thought, what about airplanes? Um, you know, it's just been so much going on with airplanes with me with uh, whatever. And I'm sure maybe there's other... I was, I was thinking later on, I was like, maybe I'm playing the wrong war, World War II, because I want to do all these freaking things with airplanes and so on and so forth. And I know you, I can't do nowhere near what you can do in, in World War II. I don't even know what the distances are for uh, airplanes yet, and I should, based on the fact I've been watching flipping enough um, Dad versus Son aces over, uh, aces over Europe. It's, I'm, I'm thinking of that freaking World, World War II combat game, ironically. Um, Aces of Valor um, from Legion War Games. And uh, actually, I've been, it's been over two weeks. I've been kind of like in withdrawal mode about that. But um, I, I do know the Ottomans had a... Um, uh, the Ottomans do have a... Um, did have an Air Force. And almost got to see um, a completed uh, Ottoman uh, Air Force airplane on last Saturday night on uh, the Notch A show. Uh, Reese, 54 millimeter Empire dude, um, didn't have it out, but I was like, he had mentioned that he has an Ottoman Empire um, airplane. I was almost like that would have been exciting to see. Um, anyway, so I don't know when it w they had like when their Air Force was around in, in full-on mode or whatever. I don't know what it was like in Palestine. I've got another one of these planes over in uh, Mesopotamia here. But I'm, like I said, I've been trying to figure out a way of trying to get around the desert issue. And there's already a bazillion things I can see. Like how the hell did uh, do you get the planes here and all the parts? I also know that the Ottomans, and this is just from my little bits, but like I said, it's going to be fun to find out about is... Um, um, you know, they were heavily coal dependent and, um, so there's not a lot of petrol for them and so on and so forth to go around and, um, heat. I don't, I mean, uh, yeah, okay. I see them all the time in scarves and big whatevers, you know, freezing their butts off up in the, uh, up, up there. But what about here? I don't know. Uh, maybe it is cool. Like it, it's actually, maybe you could wear a t-shirt up there. I don't know. I, there's all these things I just, you know, I have to find out about. Um, is there any other whatevers? What I would love to do, and I, like I said, I don't know about the distances. I think this is about 200 kilometers back and forth. Um, what could I do with them? Uh, but like I said, it's just time and time and time again. I'm trying to figure out a way of, uh, well, the uh, what I'm doing right now uh, for, you know, there's going to be the grand strategies for both sides um, going into um, January 1915. But each nation's got their own agenda and uh, their number one agenda is to try to cut off the supply line for the uh, uh, through the Suez Canal for the Great Brit uh, Great British um, uh, things, and then second bit is to um, uh, secure the oil oil fields over in Mesopotamia, and then you know we'll go from there kind of thing. But uh, yeah, that's really about it. I don't know if uh, I don't. I should be starting. To, I should maybe watch these things more because. Uh, the mobiles that just kind of just pop them straight up but um this like i'm not really yeah it looks okay it's this is i really seriously need to get whatever and i don't know when i'm gonna get another mobile but uh that's it i just um so, was well, there any other things to think about with the planes well there's so, so many things i just don't know is this a realistic thing like i don't you know 
like I said, I'll find out, man. Okay, hope you're able to end like it. You know, hope I get to discuss it with you guys for sure. Um, that's it. Cool. See ya.